Bye bye, Mum. Hi guys, I'm Natalie and welcome to Made by Mum. It has been a couple of weeks and what a busy couple of weeks it's been. Um, I have got Jacob in the background. It is Sunday morning, the 6th of December. Oh golly, my first December video, guys. <laughs> he is playing on his game, so if there's any shouting, that's why. I have got some finished objects. I have got some whips. I've got some acquisitions, which I can't wait to show you. And I have some really good news at the end of the video because it'll be a life update but first i've got it done guys it's all finished let me take these off my knee yes. my jumper is all finished i'm so happy the sleeves fit lovely and everything i am so proud <laughs> um now i've got to remember all the details of the jumper because <laughs> of course I didn't write them down or I didn't get all my information up on my computer. It is a Ravelry pattern, I know that much. And did I write it down? Um, probably not. I'm clever like that, guys. What was this one called? Have people been playing your thingy? nice one here we go it's called the brick sweater um it was done on five millimeter needles and then the ribbon was on a 4.5 needle i used um kinkle drifter aran in the colorway alps which is so pretty and that's all the information i've got wrote down <laughs> i will put a link to the uh, pattern in the description box and to all patterns that i show so there's that i used up hang on let me see I have got one, I've got one and a half balls left and I had seven, I think. I think I used about five and a half balls and I made the size extra large. I do like a nice baggy jumper, but it's a little tighter than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> but it fits nice, I love it. And I'm really happy. So I finished my first ever raglan knitted sweater and I can't wait to make another one. Sorry, excited time. <laughs> right, my next finished object, which is what I was, I think I'd got about that far into when I last showed you. <laughs> I have made a pair of woolly boot socks for my nephew. His banana socks, as he's going to be calling them, I should think. <laughs> um, these are the top teddy socks and again i will put a link in the description and um, these socks i didn't do on nine inch circulars like i have done every other pair of socks i have made these were done um magic loop my gosh how fiddly probably because i was making such a small sock but yeah i'm not doing that one again <laughs> Magic loop's not the easiest of things to do for something so small, but I didn't have a circular small enough, so I'm trying to figure out whether they are, I know one's a little shorter than the other, but I'm trying to figure out whether they're a different foot size as well. I followed the pattern exactly the same for both, my stitch tension hasn't changed. I wrote everything down, it's maybe just my eyes guys. I do know that one is shorter than the other because I didn't measure it properly. But they're finished. There's a finished object. The next finished object was, again, a work in progress last week. And it has turned out huge. <laughs> and it is the um, You're Not Alone cowl from Hannah, uh, the Crozy Cottage cro uh, Crochet. Oh, my lighting's appalling, guys. I do apologise. It's... There we go, you can kind of see it. It's like an alpine stitch cowl, and it is huge. It's so, so big, but it keeps me really, really warm, and I love it. So there it is. It's nice and warm. I do enjoy it. I have worn it a few times. I was supposed to be making it for somebody, but I started wearing it, so you can't give something that you started wearing, can you? <laughs> but I will make it again. For definite. Might go down a hook size so it goes smaller. 
this way not so much this way <laughs> this way is fine this way is a bit too much it's a bit big but i think that's because of my stitch tension so there's another finished object and then i have got my december block done for the majesty and mayhem cow at uh, the fillet cow i just need to put them together which i'm hoping to do over the next few over this next week hoping <laughs> wait to see all the wits i've got it might not happen <laughs> so there's that done so even though the block is finished the blanket is not it should be the next time i make a video now the last thing that i'm about to show i am really proud sorry guys sisters what are they on about ah nothing too much <laughs> i'm so proud of these these are leg warmers it is the helix leg warmer from the Lion brand website it is done with a mandala and sorry my print is not color well it is color but i haven't done it as a color so it's one cake to do the whole of it so obviously the colors aren't the same now i had some paint box yarn um i can't remember what they were called they're a paint box um dk but they were done in a colour pack and I got the green ones and I made these and the pattern doesn't call for this I was playing <laughs> getting a bit adventurous with my knitting and I did like a fade sorry these were done magic circle too which I'm better at doing magic circle with the bigger stuff rather than the smaller stuff so that's not too bad <laughs> but you can tell there is a ridge all the way down which after washing because it haven't been washed yet i have literally about 15 minutes ago finished tucking all the tails and my gosh was there a lot of tails <laughs> what's the matter bud it's like they, that was like about a foot and a half long that's okay so i did like a four row what am I thinking of? Far row fade. There we go. I'm gonna have a a different. I'm gonna have a try doing a proper fade. This is just me playing, but I do like how they have turned out and missing stitches. <laughs> I'm getting the wrong colour, but it was a learning experience, a learning curve, and I really did enjoy it. Sorry, that's because I pulled one down quick further than the other. They are both the same size exactly they match up pretty much perfectly <laughs> like i say one's been done longer than the other so it's had time to relax yes bud it was taken just a few minutes ago but it was like <laughs> big you it was a bit like the person who hit the car oh, three months ago oh to run. yeah so there's those finished. These took forever to make. Me and my bright ideas. But I've got them done. They will be gifted to a friend. They are my... Because you have to decrease on one part only. And you decrease one side and then the other side. So it's left my um, stitches a little wonky. But for a first attempt, it's not too bad. And I hope she likes them. So there's that finished object done. So that's all my finished objects. Bring it all together. What are you doing, buddy? I do actually need to hear the game over thing. I'm sure you'll be okay without hearing the game over for a few minutes, bud. You'll be able to turn it up shortly. And I didn't say you had to have it on silent. I just said you had to turn it down. Oh. Didn't I? Right. On to the whips. Now, there is a huge array of whips. The first one is living in my lovely lovely bag from the lovely sue and inside here is another bag of cardigan or the start of a bag of cardigan <laughs> so i've got the main body done i've got the sleeves the hoods and the button band and whatnot left to do there's that one this one is for my nephew Roman 
I've got that many nephews, guys. I've got to try and remember who's who. <laughs> so, this one is exactly the same pattern. Oh, golly, where's my hook? Oh, I didn't put my hook back away. I put it in, in my hook pot. I'm using a 6mm hook on this one, and he is 4. Yes, he will be 4. In de sorry. <laughs> he will be 4 in December. So, there's that one. That shouldn't take too much longer to finish. Um, oh, I am sorry, guys. I will learn to put my phone on silent. There we go. Right, the next one. I did only start last night. And I really shouldn't have started a new wick. But I did, because it's a Christmas present. And we are making white hexagons. <laughs> Just, I've got to make 20 white hexagons. I have double stranded to give it more sturdy, um, well, more sturdiness. And it is going to be a football for my nephew, Jaden. I do need to find out the colours of his football team. I think they're a blue. Don't know which kind of blue, but I will get in touch with his, with my uh, sister-in-law, his mum and find out and I will use the blue instead of black so there we go we've started another one <laughs> like I said I did only start that last night so not a lot of progress has been made on that um, I don't know whether I showed you this one last time no I didn't so these next two are both new whips but they are both Christmas presents, so it's not so bad. So this is the first one. And this is Wings of Prayer, I think it's called. Let me double check. Because I'm pretty sure I wrote this one down. Yes, this is called the Wings of Prayer. And I found it on Ravelry. I'm using a 5.5mm hook. And it reminded me of the... fiber shawl but it's different I do like the spine down the center and it's slightly different but looks very samey <laughs> which is why I like it I think and it's getting there it's getting quite big I think I've got another 12 rows left to do on it um the yarn I am using is this squishy gorgeous stuff Kinkle Riot double knit the colourway is Juniper. It is 30% wool, 70% premium acrylic, approximately 324 yards or 294 metres per 100 grams. Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous to work with. I thought I'd have a lot of trouble with it, with it catching and whatnot. I know I do make mistakes when I'm working, and I did make a mistake, and I had to pull back three rows. And they're not simple rows to pull back the yarn. It snagged a couple of times, but barely. I thought it'd snag a lot more than what it did because of the fuzzy, and it didn't. It frogged quite well <laughs> for what kind of yarn it is. So we are still, still got a little ways to go, but we are getting there with that one. So there's that one. I'm not sure if these patterns that I am showing that I found on Ravelry can be found elsewhere. I'm not sure. I am not very well adept to searching the internet. So if you can, fantastic. Please let me know how. <laughs> because I really don't know. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning, guys. Now... The next project is living in my new Amelia Joy bag. I love them. I do like my Amelia Joy bags and I have just ordered another two. So, but I'll tell you about that in a minute. <laughs> so in here, I have finally, finally guys, cracked into my shawl in a cake. I am using this colorway. This is Moonstone and it's so pretty. Really enjoying working with this yarn. It's flying off the hook. And 
I haven't made a lot of progress on it. I should have made more, but I haven't been working on it. It hasn't had all the love. But I am making a virus show. <laughs> I wore this one and one of my friends saw it and really, really liked it. So I decided I'm going to make her one. So it's going to look really pretty. And I know she appreciates handmade stuff because Jacob made her a candy cane for her Christmas tree. And she owns the local chip shop every Friday night. <laughs> We go to the chip shop and she got all her Christmas decorations up and she's put the candy cane on her tree that Jacob made for her, which was really sweet. Uh, so my lovely my lovely Good friend's going to get a new scarf, cowl, no, shawl, shawl, because it's going to be as big as this one and she can wear it as a scarf like I do. So in this bag, uh, no, we'll do this bag first. Save that one for last. <laughs> so, in here, we have got this. It is the start of a bag of day hat. It is just their basic hat um, that me and Jacob have, have decided to make up. And we're going to make as many as we can between now and the 14th, 14th of December. Yeah, between now and the 14th of December and at Jacob's school they are doing a reverse advent calendar where they aim to place a gift or a donation a day in December up until the 18th um, to give to local charities that help the community. So there are lot Loads of people are bringing in like food, so I thought I'd ask, what about something to keep them warm? Hats, scarves, gloves. Um, and they've given the okay for some hats. So me and Jacob are going to make as many hats as we can and donate them into the school on the 14th so they can be quarantined for three days and then on the fourth day they can get shipped to where they need to be or taken because they are local to wherever they are needed so some I'm going to do a mix of adult hats and children hats um hopefully we can get a few made um we have fallen behind we're on the 5th of December and we've only got like not even a full hat done <laughs> we have had lots of other things but once I've cleared up my um, whip pile a little bit then I'm going to really crack on and make a load of hats and hopefully we're going to finish this one this afternoon. And that's living in a Harry Potter bag. Diagon Alley and Nocturne Alley. So there we go. There is that one. And then last but not least, we have my Mario bag. Now, last week, I think, or the last video, I think I showed you this Mario bag. And there wasn't a project in it, but they were, there was yarn and a pattern. Well... I did say I was going to try and get that started, and I did. I got quite a quite a start on it as well. I'm quite proud of myself. So I am doing the sock head hat, which is that one there. I don't think no, no, it's just information, not the actual pattern on the front page. So that's how it's looking, or how it will look. And I best put it back onto my pattern page so I actually know where I am. Because <laughs> I can be quite a klutz at times and forget. So there's that. I have started with the green. Now, which one's this one? It is the Uruyan sock, uh, so Scoot sock in the colourway Garland. It is a knit crate yarn and it is my first knit crate yarn I have used. <laughs> I've been getting knit crate for a year. Mm, apart from a little break over the first lockdown. Um, I've been getting knit crate for a year. Yay. So this is 70% extra fine merino, 20% baby alpaca and 10% nylon. Which is this gorgeous. This is the colour of it it looks quite dark over here but this is the actual colour of it it might be a little bit brighter gorgeous garland green I love it and are you ready for this guys 
since the last video and I hadn't even cast on in two weeks I have got all that done I am so proud this is fingering weight yarn on a three millimeter knitting needle I'm getting tangled with my stitch marker there we go <laughs> there is four inches of two by two is it two by two rib yep two by two rib and then I think yeah, I'm at about three inches of stocking stitch and I've got to do oops, sorry I was tangled <laughs> I've got to do eight inches of the stocking of this bit I'm ready for the decreases so I'm getting there I really am I'm really working on that um I should hopefully this has been getting all the love can you tell <laughs> I should be able to get a lot more done on this I do have a hospital trip to do so it's going to be worked on that or I may just start on the other one and do them both at the same time or start on the ribbing for this one because that's what took the longest time the ribbing um over the last few nights that I've just been sitting on the couch which is a rare thing for me I'm normally always in my chair I've been sitting on the couch been watching the Transformer movies because we all know Nat's a big geek and a kid with the dog snuggled up at the side of me just knitting away and it's done good <laughs> so I do need to start on this one and this is another sock crate uh, sock crate Knit Crate Yarn, uh, Vidalana, colourway is Toffee, 40% Merino, 40% Peruvian Highland Wool and 20% Nylon. So pretty, I love the colour of this one. And that is for my brother-in-law. So, let's pop this lot away so we don't lose any of it. And then, that's all my whips and all my finished objects. So then I get to show you the good stuff, my acquisitions. So let's pop all this away so we know it's all safe. So there's all that. Right, that's all my whips. Let me make some room here, you guys. There's my I do have two bags of acquisitions, I'm afraid, guys. <laughs> um, I went discovering on Etsy and I went to look for yarn dyers that are close to me or in the UK and I've found a few one of them I've heard a lot of fantastic reviews about and one I've not heard anything about so I thought I'd give them a try get some yarn and see what we like what we get mm. sorry guys so the first one is from Twin Nips and I can't remember the way oh, can we have got the name of the colourway? no we don't <laughs> it is a hand dyed sock yarn for ply 80% merino wool 20% nylon that's 400 metres and how gorgeous is that? I fell in love I needed it I don't know what I'm going to make with it but I needed it I love it so if you, think, if you, if you know of any nice patterns a fingering weight yarn guy <laughs> pop them in the dis in the uh, comments below and I will have a look and see what where, where my capabilities will take me it can be knit or crochet I do both as my project show <laughs> but this is so soft and squishy so this is from twin knits and I again I will put a link in the description and I have been even more naughty because I actually went and ordered some more <laughs> so I'm waiting on that to come through so there's that and then in here I need to pull a few bits out hang on there we go because I did pop my knit crate yarn in here and one of my other acquisitions so this is that everything Boop. yes so this is from Attic Spin Dye now again the Hannah from Cozy Cottage Crochet has often said about Attic Spin Dye and how nice everything is and she's not wrong guys. I saw a yarn on there and I had to get it. 
and it was this beautiful beautiful skein of yarn yellows greys and blacks and the reason i needed to get this was because of the name the name is lemmy now if you like old rock music you're gonna know who this person is he is the lead singer of a band called motorhead which is one of my dad's favorite bands and i do enjoy listening to them so this was a no-brainer i had to get it and it is going to be something for my dad don't know what but it's going to be something for my dad because i have literally just made him a lemmy doll <laughs> for his birthday i made him a lemmy um doll <laughs> um i have made him a few over the years i've made him um freddie mercury i've made him an ozzy osbourne i've made him a captain picard <laughs> from star trek i've made him a lemmy <clears throat> and i do have in the works because i have a basic doll pattern that i work from and i make them into the character i want them um and i'm in the process of doing um hopefully an alice cooper and an adam and the ants doll which will go where my mum is because it's one of my mum's favorite singers so i got lemmy <laughs> and then this came with it <laughs> so in here i did pop see with the yarn itself we got a stitch marker which solidified the fact it was motorhead for me because they have a skull on their symbol logo i think it's their logo it's a skull with chains same motorhead and that just solidified it it's lemmy <laughs> so there's that and then there came this little bundle and there is a lovely note saying thank you for supporting our business hope this yam brightens your day and it really really did and i couldn't wait for payday <laughs> payday's been and gone guys <laughs> so we're waiting for more packaging <laughs> and inside we got a twinings gingerbread green tea I don't personally like green tea, so I'm going to give this to my brother, who does. So he gets to have a nice green tea. There was a gorgeous lavender pillow. I can't keep this out too much because I do have a little bit of a reaction to lavender, but I can touch it, I can smell it, as long as it's not there constantly. I won't sneeze. So that's going to just get put back in the bag, otherwise you'll have me sneezing all through the video. Won't be very good. And last but not least, there was this gorgeous mini skein i absolutely love it now i was looking on their website of course because that's what we do <laughs> looking for more and it's i think was it apple was it called apple harvest autumn harvest i'm not quite sure but that's what it reminded me of so I love it. I'm going to see how many I can get over a year. <laughs> a little, I think it's a 10 gram um, sock um, mini. And I'm going to collect them up over the years. Over the year, sorry. Or wait until I've got 24. <laughs> see whichever comes first. I'm going to make myself an advent calendar for next year. I was just a little short on luck this year for uh, getting an advent calendar. But I'm going to get one next year definitely even if i have to make it so i'm gonna get lots and lots of little 10 gram minis whether it's ordering minis from shops or whether they're free gifts which is lovely all goes towards the same thing but i do love it it's so squishy and it smells so nice it's not just the lavender in there there's something else and it's gorgeous so <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> everybody can appreciate a good nice smelling yarn so i'm going to pop this lot back in here so i can keep it all together and so i don't lose any of it and the tea bag and my compliments note hopefully do, do, do. there we go it's in <laughs> and then i'm going to pop these back in this bag so i don't lose any of it because at the moment my living room is upside down because we have just got a new 
Christmas tree. <laughs> I'm going to pop it all in the same bag. And then I got my knit crate, or I got my sock crate. I'm waiting on my actual knit crate to come through from last month. So hopefully it gets here soon because I have seen some pictures and oh my god, it is gorgeous. Sorry guys, <laughs> I hope I get the blue one. So this is what I got and I love the colour. Absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. And this is... Odin wool alpaca socks or alpaca sock it, the colorway is Napoli I really hope I said that right I'll let you guys see it Napoli 60% uh, superwash merino 20% alpaca 20% nylon 400 yard per 100 grams squishy goodness guys squishy goodness oh and <laughs> if I can get it out there we go the free gift Confused me a little because I pulled it out like that and said, What on earth is that? The light. It's a torch. With the very temperamental one. I'm guessing something could have pressed on it because, of course, it's come from the US and I live in the UK. So it's had quite a travel. But it's going to go on, well, I'm saying it's going to go on my car key. I'm hoping to put it on my car key if I can change the batteries in it because they're ha, kind of there <laughs> so that was a free gift with the knit crate so that can pop in there as well and then my last acquisition to show you it's a big thing for me is this because I saved and I sold some yarn and I finally finally managed to get some I got some chow goos I got this lovely lovely set of the chow goo is it called minis it's the little ones for making socks <laughs> so there are my tiny tiny cables so tiny and here are my needles again so tiny <laughs> so you have the longer ones on the top I think they're are they five I've got a ruler on my desk guys so got it these are my I think these are the three inch ones does it say on them that says a three oh that says a three we're okay I know this level these are the bigger size ones anyway, and we got the smaller ones. So you can mix and match and have a long needle and a short needle, which is how you sometimes get your sock needles. Or you can have too small, or you can have too big. However which way you prefer to do them. I haven't actually cast any socks on yet because I have got so many projects on the go at the moment and need to clear up some of them first. And I do have some, whoop, still got some funny feet left over. So I think I'm going to make another pair out of these. Should have enough there. It was a 100 gram ball. I should have enough there to do another pair of, well, I will have enough there to do another pair of socks, which I'll probably do for Jacob again. So we'll have two pairs. And then I've got lots and lots of other sock yeah. <laughs> and then in this lovely little pocket on the front, there is a little needle gauge and there are stitch markers and pins and bits to tighten it at uh, ends I think they are for presuming just to, for doing stoppers I think I'm not quite sure what's the matter buddy I'm not using no I'm just doing it on my iPad instead of my phone oh the camera's different yeah <laughs> So there's them. I finally got some chow goos and I cannot wait to use them when I get some time. Or some spare, uh, spare room on my whip list. <laughs> so I got myself some chow goos. I'm so, so happy. And I did actually ask for some new circular needles, uh, the bigger sizes, for Christmas. So 
Let's see if Santa thinks I've been a good enough girl. <laughs> right, is that everything? Show that, show that, show that, show that. Yeah, I think, just double checking guys, <laughs> that is absolutely everything. So a mouthful of tea. Right, and then on to my life update. So the last time we spoke, I was waiting to hear from my insurance about my car. Um, I did finally hear from them um, about a week ago. It's been, it's been about a week now. My car got wrought off fully. That's it, taken away, gone, can't drive it, nothing. And they paid out the worth of my car. So I have spent the last few days um, waiting for the pennies to clear in my account so I can go buy a new car. I got a new car. <laughs> uh, I have got a new car. I have got a little Fiat Panda. I absolutely love my car. It is, on the log book it says it's turquoise, but it's more of an aqua blue, guys. In fact, it's the colour blue of my five millimetre clover hook. <laughs> the exact same blue. So I have got a new car and it must have been because it's got a Jack Skellington from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas sticker in the window. My daughter loves Jack Skeleton. And it's got Groot on the back. And we all, I love Groot. <laughs> I love any like Marvel, action-y, manga-y type movie. <laughs> so it was meant to be. So I have a new car. I've sorted out my insurance on my car, my tax on my car. And there were some spare pennies left over for me. So we're jumping. <laughs> I have treated myself to a few skeins of new yarn. Again, from Attic Spin Dye and from a couple of other places and a couple of Amelia Joy bags. So Etsy was clapping their hands. <laughs> I have got some left, but I am going to get some seat covers. I might actually pay for it valeting or just do it myself, which I probably will do. Um, another good news is my driving lessons have started back up again. I had a driving lesson on Thursday. I have another one on Wednesday, but my one on Wednesday is at five o'clock at night. So I'm quite nervous because it's going to be the first time I've actually driven in the dark. <laughs> um, I have my theory test booked for the 17th. Can't wait. So I'm really, really cracking on with all my theory. And then I got a message off my instructor telling me as soon as I have passed my theory, which hopefully is going to be the first time, I've got to book my test, <laughs> which is really, really nerve wracking. But it's also not going to actually happen for a few months yet because of COVID. They're trying to get all those that were already booked through and then those that are now booking won't be until next year. So I still have until about April, May time. Lots, a lot, lots and lots of practice time. Um, I actually drove my car yesterday with my dad, and I found I can't wear my boots to drive. <laughs> that my foot's a little bit too wide, and I kept catching the wrong pedal. But I was safe. I didn't crash. I didn't cause any accidents. I was still safe. Um, I just got to get back into the habit of driving again because it's been five weeks it's yeah it's difficult when you get a big break especially when you weren't driving every single day before um but yeah I'm back on track I'm getting there should hopefully within the next six months actually have passed my test fingers crossed I do have one more acquisition well it's not an acquisition it's happy mail and I have left it over there Buddy, can you see on the mantelpiece there is a card? Mm -hmm. Can you pass me it, please? This one. Yes, please. No, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna no, die. you're not. Right. So I got this lovely envelope through my post, <laughs> which. We all know who it's from. It's from Carrie Penny. And 
I absolutely love the card that she has sent me. It's beautiful. I haven't done my cards yet. I will be doing them this week. I will be writing and sending them out. So, fingers crossed to get to everybody on time. <laughs> it's been quite a hectic few weeks, but it's starting to slow down enough for me to do all my Christmas stuff. Um, I do still have my daughter's hospital appointment, which is next week. Which is why I have to travel, which is why I'm not doing much more on the sock head hat because I'll do that as I'm travelling and whilst I'm sat in the hospital because, yeah, her appointments take a very long time because she needs x-rays and everything because it's a check-up on her scoliosis. So hopefully it hasn't progressed any more, which would be fantastic. But, yeah, I hope something can be done and I hope it hasn't got any worse. Fingers crossed. And um, I think that's about it, guys. Um, next time I video, you should see my Christmas tree, which will be in the window behind me. I'm hoping, or at least that's my plan. Um, I have got some more happy mail coming. Um, a friend has asked if I want a load of yarn, and of course, the answer is yes. <laughs> so I've got all that to get picked up and find somewhere for it to live because. There is absolutely no room in here. Not unless I treat myself to another big set of shelving. That I've got some yarn in already. But we'll just have to see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> um, I haven't really got much else to say. I've been waffling away for over 40 minutes now. And I do apologise, it's a long one. I will try and make it shorter. And more often. <laughs> so, yeah. Um... All the patterns I've mentioned, I will put a link to in the description box below. I will put where you can find me um, on Instagram, made by mum crochet. No, made by mum 2019, sorry. On Instagram, I do have a Facebook page, um, made by mum crochet. Um, I can't put a link to that, but if you type it in, you will see a picture of the um, four bears I made, the um, season bears seasonal bears I can't remember what I called them bears of the season <laughs> um, that is the picture no. um, so you'll be able to find that uh, and then email if you have any questions at all <laughs> um, obviously you can either pop them in the description box or email me um, and I think that's about it guys I'm afraid I haven't got a lot else to say which I'm probably thinking you're kind of happy about because I've been here for ages. So <laughs> keep making magic. You shall see me again before Christmas, hopefully. And I shall see you all again soon. Bye.